how enhancing Porter's value chain can benefit BPM. Now, if we go in and look at what Wikipedia does to describe what a value chain is, it's stated as it's a chain of activities that a firm operating in a specific industry performs in order to deliver a value product or service for the market. What's not indicated in this quote is performance measures. Now, if we go in and look at how traditional performance measures are reported, we might have a table of numbers, stack bar charts, pie charts, or uh, the balanced scorecard, or red, yellow, green scorecards. But what's really happening is we don't have any prediction statement. I think we should have prediction statements as part of the value chain. If we go in and look at how metrics are typically reported, they talk about fiscal years, they talk about uh, how we're going in and not having, un they're unrelated to improvement systems. They tend to be a point-to-point -point comparison. That is, we're comparing this month to last month or a previous year. But really what we have is Y is a function of X. That is, the output is a function of the inputs and the process itself. And if we don't like the value for Y, we need to change either the inputs or the process itself. Now, if we go in and start looking at what our metrics need to incorporate, we think that they should be incorporating the enterprise as a system of processes. We need to also acknowledge the effect of variability within this. And it also needs to be tied to process improvement. Now, if we were going to examine a red, yellow, green scorecard, we might see ups and downs of the colors, but did they really change when it toggled from red to green? If we examine this same set of data using what I call a 30,000-foot level chart, we might notice that nothing really changed at all at, over time. If it didn't change over time, we say our process is stable. We thought we made improvements, but we didn't. Now, also what we can make a statement is the process is predictable. The next obvious question is, what do you predict? Well, we could take the data from the recent region of stability and put it in a probability plot, for example. And if we got a target of 2.2 or greater, then we can notice how often we are below 2.2. We might have a value of 32.6%. So we didn't really make any improvements to our process, and we got a 32.6% problem. The only way we can go in and improve upon it is to either change the inputs or the process steps itself. Now, the question is, how did this tie into the overall Porter value chain? And I'm going to get into that. But first, I think the Porter value chain needs to be integrated into the overall business management system. And that's where I have it as step two in a nine-step overall process. Now, to illustrate this point, I'm going to use a hospital example. Now, a hospital example might have voice of the customer, uh, sales and marketing, uh, produce and deliver products, report or uh, click financials and report financials, or click uh, invoices and report financials. Now it has some other functions also, IT and, uh, and the food services and transportation and so on, but those are not the primary services. Now what we'd like to do is have a clickable value chain so that now we can examine both the inputs to the process and also the outputs, that is the Ys and the Xs so that we can actually get a relationship of Y as a function of X. Now, we'd also like to be able to drill down into the processes. We can link documents, we can link subprocess to that. So basically, we have a repository where everything resides. Now, if we had the metric there also, we'd like to be able to readily quick, click on it, so that now we can create the 30,000 foot level view of it like I did previously, and everybody easily understands how the process is performing. Now if we examine the overall system, then what we can do is we can see where we might actually make improvements so that the enterprise is the whole benefits. And that's established through the enterprise process management. So now we have process owners asking for projects to be conducted in their area to improve their 30,000 foot level metrics. Now this overall system can reside with BPM 
and enterprise process management using this integrated enterprise excellence structure.